the glory to glory show. Hallelujah. The glory to glory ministry. Yes. Amen. Model, model our deliverance ministry, but we are together with a glory to glory show. The church is model our deliverance ministry. Flanders, New Jersey. Amen. You can uh, meet us on the P.O. Box 709, Flanders, New Jersey, 07836. But you can also go to the website, www.glorytoglory.ws. Amen. Now, Amen. that was just a little small talk. I am Prophet Roderick Lee Terry. And I am Prophetess and Evangelist Donna Savage. Amen. I, somebody told me Lee meant country. They said, that's a country name. Hmm. Roderick Lee Terry. Hmm, I don't know. Well, anyways, we're going to praise the Lord today. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says... We will enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. And hallelujah, yes. we will say this is the day that the Lord has yes. made. I will rejoice, rejoice for he has made me glad. Yes. Wow. And be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. <laughs> you know, I, I, I got so many scriptures going on. I know and you know, I was thinking, I was actually saying the scripture and I was thinking about how, you know, a woman of God had called the other days. Mm -hmm. And when she had called, I said, you know what? David encouraged himself in the Lord. Yes, he did. So go ahead and get on yes, up. Yes, he did. Yes, Shake he yourself did. off. Yes. Dust yourself off. The battle, the battle is not out here it's in the good. natural. No, it's not. My goodness. We're gonna talk about the battle and where it's at. Mm, amen. Where's amen. the battle at? Yes. My goodness. Yes. And you know, um, we have to encourage ourselves in yes. the Lord. There's times when we're going to be physically alone but not spiritually we're never alone in never. the spirit because god is always with us and we have our angels that surround us and sometimes the enemy will want you to think that what you're going through you're by yourself but you're never alone because god is always with you and he wants to take you right through whatever you're going you know through you know yeah. he said the fiery trials you know that we go through it's only but for um, a minute because as uh, soon as we uh, think that is we're not going to get through it we're through it already and we're, we're we have a testimony on how we came through uh you know and that it was god that brought us through it yes well let's open up in prayer Whew. thank you father god yeah, for everything so. you've done everything you're doing Yes, Lord. Lord, Thank we you, can Lord. say today we trust in you. Lord. Yes, Lord. When all else fails, God, we trust you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father God, the word says, He said, Yeah, here we go. Our Father who art in heaven. Yes. Hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Yes, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. And forgive Give us of our debts, debts as we, we forgive our debtors. debtors. Lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory forever. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There is, there is no other option. No, it's not. There is no other one. There is no other answer. And everybody's going to have to answer. Yes. To the only option. Yes. Amen. Everybody's going to have to answer to the King of glory. Amen. We want to greet everybody here in the mighty name of the Lord. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your day. I don't know what you were going through, but I know that it's going to stop now and get a whole lot better. Yes. I don't know how, how much better it was before, but it's about to get even greater. Amen. I don't know how much uh, wonderful it was, but it's about to go to a whole nother notch of glory. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. South Carolina for God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you all. South Carolina for us. Yeah. God bless you. Mm. Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. What are we going to be talking about tonight? Your battle is a spiritual one. 
not a physical one. Mm. Mm. Wow. Your battle is a spiritual one, not a physical one. The devil wants to steal your testimony and your joy mm. and kill salvation and your faith mm. and your influence. But I want to tell wow. you, you must separate yourself and get into the very presence, yes. the very essence of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we want to pray for guests too right now. Yes. Father God, you know guests too. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you. I want to switch it. Well, I just lift up guests to, to you right now, God. Yes, Lord. I lift it up to you, yes. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, touch your heart right now. Yes, Lord. Touch your heart, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, touch your heart. Yes, Lord. I see, I see, Father God, you calls and things. I, I see some things going on now, Lord. And I ask, Father God, that you would just embrace it, Lord. I ask that you would embrace your arms around the God in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you for doing that now. I thank you, Father God, for putting a word inside of this woman of God now, Lord. Thank you right now for putting a word inside of her, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for putting gifts, presents, presence and gifts inside of our spirit you, being, Lord. You, Lord. Spiritual gifts, Thank spiritual you. presence Thank inside you. of a very being, God. Yes, I thank you, Father God, for doing some things, Lord, in her life, Lord, that will cause her continents to shine yes. brightly yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. I thank you for doing it now, Lord. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father God. I thank you right now, God, for letting her know that you haven't turned your back on her, God, but that you said in your word, God, I thank you. You said you'll never leave her nor forsake her, God. You don't have she never give I thank you right now, God. And those that may have turned their back on her, God, I ask, Father God, for a quick turnaround, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I ask that you call a surprise to take place, Lord, of good. Yes. And Lord. cause those that turned their back on, on her, Lord, or whomever it was, Lord, to turn back around, Lord. And, and as if they, I don't know how you're going to do it, Lord, but I sense someone's getting ready to be shocked. They're going to be shocked and surprised of what's getting ready to take place. So I thank you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't feel like it's a lot over the heart or a lot going on with the heart. It's just the mind. So I want to tell guests too, you're right on time. Because we're going to talk about, let's go to John chapter 18. Verse 35. And I want to say God's kingdom is in your heart. God's kingdom is in your heart. And your weapons that you use to stay in the kingdom is faith, prayer, and the word. Does anybody agree with that? Amen. Faith, prayer, and the word. Prophet is Donna, what is John chapter 18, verse 35? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. Mm. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Yeah. that I should not be delivered to the Jews. Mm. But now is my kingdom not from hence. See, our fight is not here in a fleshly form. No, it's not. It's not here 
in a way where we're going to do things. The Bible says we wrestle not, not against, against flesh, flesh and blood. blood. My yes. goodness. Yes. So God's kingdom is in your heart. You know, after you're getting ready to go through the battle, after one battle is over, you better know that another battle it's is on the way. way. Yes. But how do you fight with faith, yes. prayer, mm -hmm. and the word? Yes. Amen. Oh my goodness. Amen. Faith, prayer, and the, and word. the word. It's going to take faith. It says without faith, it is impossible to please, to please God. Yes. And then it says prayer. For the prayers of a righteous man avail of what? And then word. Yes. Man should not live by bread alone. But by every, but by word, every word that proceeds, that proceeds out of the mouth yes. of God. Yes. So when you are in battle, mm -hmm. I'm letting you know when your battle is done, another is on the way. So when you're praying and you're using your faith and you're in the word, that's your rest time. Yes. And the rest is only... Going is only preparing you for the next battle. For the next battle, Jesus. yes, yes, because as long as we're in the earth, you know, we have the enemy that is going mm. to uh, come against us, but yet God has equipped us yes. for the battle. That's why in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, you know, he says, Our weapons, you know, are not carnal, Thanks. and we. <laughs> Yes, we um, have weapons that we are supposed to have on at all times, mm -hmm. you know, because we are equipped mm -hmm. in the spirit realm for this battle. Mm. Now, see, now that's another thing that I want to get on a little bit tonight. I don't mean to get off subject, but when you had said that word, equip, mm -hmm. equip, see, we're, we're not here. We're not here to to uh, 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 try to be anybody's leader. No. Mm -mm. We're not here to try to get followers of any sort. Our job in Ephesians four and twelve mm -hmm. is to equip you. Yes. Yes. Our job as prophets is to edify you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you're being edified, we are equipping you. Yes. yes. And see. Mm -hmm. This word isn't for everybody. No. Because some people may already be equipped. Some people may not even be ready for the equip. But some people all might be saying, oh, look, I needed this equipment. Yes. Amen. 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 So this word is for those that's able to receive it. Yes. yes. Jesus never forced anything no. on anybody. No. And, and as you were speaking that, uh, when you say, um, are you ready to be equipped? You know, uh, we are in the word, just like in the natural. Uh, some of us are newborn babes and a newborn babe in Christ is not going to fight like an older saint. Mm. You know, an older saint has already uh, grown in the Lord and, and has already uh, been not with uh, milk of the word, but with the meat of the word and, and is equipped to fight in the battle, wherein a newborn babe in Christ, you know, still has to grow and still has to be trained, you know, to use the equipment. So um, there mm. is a difference. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12. Now that's a wonderful scripture. Can yes. you, can you? Mm -hmm. Yes, for the perfecting of the saints. Perfecting, equipping. Yes. Yes. For the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure oh. of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Now, it says, for the perfecting of the saints. Now, in the NLT version, in the, NL, the New Living Translation, it says their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, yes. the body of Christ. Yes, amen. See, we've been going through this battle, and have we been equipped? Because mm. we need the the, the spiritual uh, the, the protocol, the, the prophets. Yes, yes, we need the prophets, and because they're edifying. Mm -hmm. And see, when you're getting equipped, not only do you need the prophets, we need people in the in the ministry and in the churches now to have a equipping word. Yes, Ooh, yes, 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 Jesus. Amen, amen. Preparing the person. For the battle. Your battle is a spiritual one, a spiritual not a physical one. Yes. 
And then the Bible says all things were created by him and for, and for him. him. Yes. What does that mean, woman of God? Yes, that, uh, Jesus created the world for himself. Ooh. You know, and the enemy uh, is a deceiver because he has not only uh, been cast down to this world, but he's stolen uh, the things of God. And it's like em when you emulate and when you imitate, it's a difference. Mm -hmm. But what he wants to do is imitate God, and he wants to make make the ones that's following him believe that this belongs to him, that this is his creation, because he wants to be just as God. He wants mm -hmm. uh, those to worship him and to make everyone deceived to think that he's the creator of the world, wherein Jesus created the world, and it was made for him. He's been trying to deceive since Jesus was in the wilderness. Yes, yes he has. And I thank yes, God has. that Jesus said it's finished. And I thank God Jesus closed the book. Yes, amen. 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 He closed the book. But in Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. It says, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible amen. and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for, and for him. him. Yes. Wow. God said, I create evil to keep you on track. Mm. Now, let's go to Isaiah 45 mm -hmm. and 6. God said, I created evil to keep you on track. Yes. When you focus on God, the devil will disappear. Amen. Yes. When you focus on God, yes, the says submit to God and, and submit. Yes. Submit to God, yes. resist the devil, and he, he shall flee. flee. Yes. So when you focus on God, the devil will disappear. That's mm -hmm. why we must we must start to get in an area where we're not ignorant of the enemy devices, but we're we're moving on. Yes. We're moving on. Yes. And I was just writing in my journal today that when the Bible says that a uh, perfect love casts out fear. Well, when you let something cause you to fear, mm -hmm. it's like something was cast on you. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. wow. And when something's cast on you, it makes your demeanor change. Yes, oh. yes, it does. yes when, it does. When you were normally acting like the image and likeness of God, but when someone casts something on you, it's like they cast a spell. Mm -hmm. And when you see something that you can't relate with or that you're in fear of, really, because mm -hmm. if it's not faith, it's fear. It's fear. Mm -hmm. So when you allow something to cause fear and it changes your demeanor, mm -hmm. it changes your stature, it changes your countenance, then that, that, that perfect love that was supposed to cast out fear calls. I mean, because you didn't have perfect love, mm -hmm. it calls. When you don't have perfect love, it causes something to come upon you. Yeah. That's why we have to have, practice it, yeah. equipping, yeah. perfecting each other. Amen. Uh, love, we gotta have it, and so that therefore, when you, when you, and I, I just read that today, I was just looking at that, and we have to, we, and it's our responsibility. I'm gonna go on this a little bit, and I'm gonna stop and get back on the subject. It's our responsibility to not get, mm -hmm. but to let. Mm. Yes, amen. It's our responsibility not to always be getting, mm -hmm. but always be letting. Yes, yes, yes. When you're letting, you're living off the the the, the, mm -hmm. the essence of God. Yes, amen. And see, when you're living like God, people will start to be more bold in themselves because they'll see yes. God in you and say, wait a minute, God yes. must be in me too. Yes, yes, amen, amen. When you let God, you know, be uh, the, 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 the God of your life, you mm -hmm. know, that's when you... Uh, you're going to walk in boldness because we have the spirit of God that lives within us yes. that gives us boldness. Yes. You know, and, and that's why we can come boldly. And may I and may I add, um, I'm going to go another one I wrote in my journal. That, and then I'm going to stop because this is for another time. Dreams are for uh, practice of visualization. Hmm, okay. See, when you're out here in the world and you're going about your busy day, you don't have to do any type of visualizing, meaning that you don't have to do nothing. See, when you're visualizing, you're creating. Mm -hmm. And see, God wants to get the people into a, a state of where they're always dreaming. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get back to the subject. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Okay. Isaiah 45 and 6. Focus on God. The devil will disappear. God said, I created evil to keep you 
on track. Yes, amen. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 6 says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. Mm -hmm. I form the light and create darkness. Mm. I make peace and create evil. What? Mm -hmm. What do you say? And then what? I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, he says, I, the Lord, do all these things. For all things were created by him and, and for him. him. Yes. Now, we have to realize that we're going to be for God's pleasure or for the opposite. Because mm -hmm. he created for his pleasure anyway. Yes, he now, is he going to be able to take pleasure in us? Like yes. when he spoke to Jesus. Right. This right. is my beloved son, son, whom I am well pleased yes. in. Yes. Amen. My goodness. And these are and and, and, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. For those are the ones the Father seeks. Yes. Amen. Amen. My goodness. And without faith it's impossible to, to please, please him. Yes. him. Now, um I Isaiah fifty four and sixteen. So God says, I created evil to keep you on track. Yes. When he was telling Moses, when they were out there, and he was telling them, he says, Choose you today. He says, I, I hold account right now before you uh uh uh, uh before the the the, the, the I, would, I should go there. Before heaven and earth. Yes. Amen. And I, I I hold a record with heaven and earth. I should go there real quick because I want to read it. I want to read it, but um, he says, "Choose you, which one are you going to to, to serve? Which yes. one are you going to use or uh, yes. uh, uh, apply?" He says, "Uh, let me see. I think it's Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. I believe it's Deuteronomy. It talks about Esther blessings. Oh yes, and yes. the curse. Yes. Okay. He said, uh, And see, with, with that's the reason why he gave us that option, that choice. I just want to get to the part where where, uh, where Moses has said the words. Yeah. Um. This is just, this is the, the scripture that we're talking about. But I'm trying to get to the part where he was saying that I, I, I bear record with heaven and earth. I have to find it. I have to find it. But let's get back. Let's get back. I don't want to keep moving everywhere. Isaiah 54 and 16. Now, we're getting ready to talk about how the mind is the enemy's playground. Oh, yes. yes. The mind is the enemy's playground. And so when you don't give the enemy uh, any, any thought, Amen. When you don't take no thought of evil. See, love, love think of no evil. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and if you never think in evil, then you're always um live, doing perfect love. Right. Amen. And Amen. when you're in perfect love, you cast it off fear. Go yes. Ahead, and then as well as the enemy will, being that the mind is the, the battlefield, mm -hmm. you know, the enemy will uh, attempt to come in and put right. those thoughts in. But that's why God said casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself mm, against okay. the knowledge of God. Yes. Yeah. All right. You had notes. She all in the scriptures. <laughs> all in it. So the enemy the, the mind is the enemy's playground. Isaiah 54 16. Yes, amen. Behold, I have created the Smith that bloweth the coals in the fire uh -huh. and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Who, who created all that? God did. This God talking. Yes, God did. So he says, he says, uh, let me go there with you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we just gonna have a real uh, heart to heart today. today. Praise Jesus. Yes. He says, "Behold, I have created the smith that blow coal in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waste to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn." This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is, is. their righteousness is of me, saith the, the Lord. Lord. Yes. So so God already in mind has thoughts of, of peace and not yes. of evil. Yes. For us. He just created evil to keep us in track. Not as if 
You know, he, well, yeah, he said it. He said, I created evil. So mm -hmm. it's not that he, he's looking for you to, to go and eat. But see, I always say, you know, God won't tempt you, but he will test you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. God won't tempt you. The yes. Bible says he will not tempt you with evil. He will not also give mm -hmm. you more than you can bear. Wow. But he will test you. Yes. He will test you. Yes. He will try the reins of your heart. Wow. Well, you know, I'm just thinking about this, this scripture as you're saying that in 1 Peter 4 and 12, when it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial that is set before you as mm. though some strange thing happened unto you, but mm. rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad with exceeding joy. And, and that's just it. Sometimes we're going through the fiery trials mm -hmm. of our lives and we don't realize that that is God that's right there in the midst of that trial with you yes. and that you're going to come through. You're going to get through it. Yes. But um, he said, be not like those that who have no hope in this world, you know, because we have hope. Our hope is in Christ. And our hope is that he is able to do just what he said he will do, Amen. which is bring us right Amen. through the trials of life. And, you know, when you think about those without hope, those are the ones that we see every day that are saying, I can't make it. You know, um, I'd rather just give up and I'd rather just take my life, you know, because they have no hope in this world. But yet God is forever extending his mercy and his hand to those that will reach reach it and say, you know what, God, I'm holding on to your hand no matter how it looks. You know, I know that you are able to bring me through. You know, and he's no respecter of persons. If he did it for, for me and Prophet Terry and, and whoever else, he will do it for you as well. And you will have a strong testimony afterwards. Amen. I want to encourage you right now. Um, I want to encourage you, Malachi 3 and 10. You know, the Bible says, bring you all the tithes and offering into the storehouse so that there may be meat in my house. Yes. We are uh, going to another level in this ministry. We are also um, creating more, doing more, and needing the many women of God yes. to Amen. stand with us like never before so we can get on to the next level. Because it takes, it, see, in order for us to equip you, amen, you're going to have to also yeah. Equip us. Amen. Amen. And that's just the, the word of law. Yes. The word of law. Yes. The Bible yes. says, Give and it shall be given, given unto you. you. And it's, it's just, that's just the way it works. You know, and so um, Malachi 3 10 says, Bring you all the tithes and offering into the storehouse. Bring you all the tithes and all. But it goes on before that. It says, Will a man rob God? And the reason why we're saying, let me, let me just go there real quick and I'm going to go back into the, into the message. Amen. Because I, I don't want no one to be under a curse. You may you may be like, well, um, it says right here, it says, will a man rob God, Malachi 3 and 8, will a man rob God, yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. And even Jesus, he, he, he even gave props to the Pharisees and Sadducees. He said, you do your tithes and your offerings, your mints and all that stuff well, but you, you lack in the other area. Mm -hmm. he, gave, he gave him some props on that. Yeah, he, he said, so, so he says, but he said, wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings? Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Mm, and you wow. know that, that's that statement that some people say one bad air apple uh, uh, spoils the bunch. Yes, so yes. not only that, but the Bible says righteousness exalted a nation. So if if, if righteousness exalted a nation, that, and that's really why this nation, I don't really go on, get on all this, but that's really why the nation, it seems like, you remember when, uh, was it Bush or somebody was running in office? And the, the Democratic and the Republican Party was like at a split. Yeah. <laughs> But that was a spiritual thing. Mm. I feel like that was a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was a, a statement saying that the United States is now in a split. Mm. Wow. But anyways, I, I, I want to go on and say, you know, we must let righteousness exalt this nation. Yes, amen. And we as a nation need to do what's right. Now, it says, you are cursed with the curse, but you have robbed me, even this whole nation. And see, when God's going to judge somebody, he ain't going to just judge one person. Right. If yeah. it's one person 
or two people or five mm-hmm. people, and yes, he's going. He's not going to take the righteous with the, the with the unrighteous. No, mm-hmm. but what he will do, see, right, the righteous is going to wake up in eternity. Yes, amen. so there ain't no way in the world he going he going to make the, the righteous get uh, no. ruined with the unrighteous. No, because no. the righteous is going to wake up in in eternity in heaven. Amen. amen. And, and um. That's the that's the main difference right there. So even if he did take it to live is Christ and to die is gain. Dang. So anyways, yeah, it says, Ye are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. All. Uh, yeah. All the tithes. Uh, and then in the book of Proverbs, it talks about a first fruit. Yes. Amen. Maybe it's your first time where you may need to do a first fruit. Because it says when you do a first fruit, your barns is going to burst open with plenty. Yes. Amen. And the reason why I know all these scriptures is because I like to be blessed. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, when there's something yeah. going on, you might have you might have allowed um, you know, the Bible says God create evil. Well, mm-hmm. when you don't do things according mm-hmm. to God's plan mm-hmm. and you don't do something according to his will, then you let you you allowed yes. some evil to come upon you. Yes, and, and you know that goes right back to Deuteronomy. Um even though we didn't get into Deuteronomy, but uh, it was the 28th chapter, is it? Mm-hmm. Where um, it's talking about the blessing and the curses. Mm-hmm. And it's clearly a, a, a whole difference if you hearken unto the voice of the and Lord. That's what it says. And, yes, to it's observe and to do all his commandments. And to do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then he says, All these blessings shall come on thee. That's but right. then it goes right on to say, uh, If you do not. Uh, do it, then all of these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. And it's just the opposite of, of everything, of all of the blessings. The curses is is right there. So we have a choice. Um, and that's why he said, choose you this day, uh, whom you will serve. And we have a choice on whether we're going to be blessed or cursed. You know, we have a choice. And that is what God has given to each and every one of us. And so we want to encourage you. It says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. And what do you what do you say? What is the tithes, prophets? What is tithes? It's ten percent, ten percent of all your increase, all the tithes, ten percent of anything you make. Maybe somebody mm-hmm. just gave you ten dollars. You need to do the tithe. Yes. Amen. Amen. Maybe somebody just gave you a hundred. You need to do the tithe. Maybe somebody just gave you a thousand. You need to do the tithe. Yes. Maybe somebody just gave you a million. You need to do the tithe. Mm-hmm. Amen. And it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, as there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. And see, that means you can see. Mm. When the windows is open, that means you can see your location. Yes, you yes. can find your destination. And, and, and you can find your destination without any frustration. My mm. goodness. Because see, when the windows is open, you get a breeze. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so it says, I will see it says, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour. And pour. See, he's gonna open the window because he's about to pour. pour something. Pour you out a blessing, and there shall not be room mm-hmm. enough to receive it. And then what's gonna happen? He ain't even done. Mm-hmm. He ain't even stopped. He says, and I will rebuke the devour the devourer for your sakes. It ain't but he doing it because he loves you, but he yes. doing it because you need it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. He said he's doing it because he loves you, but he's doing it because you need it. Right. He says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy. Oh, Talk about the devourer. Wow. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your, your ground. ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field. Meaning, see, the ground deals with your heart. Yes. That's yes. why we were told to till the ground. You're supposed to till your heart. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to work your heart so that it can be pleasing unto the sight of God, unto the unto the very uh, uh, workmanship. You're creating his workmanship. Amen. So you're supposed to till the ground. The ground means your heart. And so when he says, he says he should he should not destroy the fruits of your ground. The fruit goes where? In your heart. In your heart. The love of God is shed abroad where? In, In your, your heart. heart. Which yes. is given unto you by where? By who? The Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And what does the Holy Ghost give you? He gives you the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. Love, joy, peace. peace. These are those yes. fruits. 
He says, he says, he says, when you when you get these fruits, you won't be carnal. When you get these fruits, you'll be flowing in the spirit. But how do you get these fruits? Well, first you're gonna have to get a blessing. Yeah. And anytime a person gets a blessing, you automatically know your heart starts acting right. Mm. You can't yeah. tell me when somebody gave you a hundred dollars, your heart didn't feel great. <laughs> Amen. But every good and perfect gift comes from God. Comes from the, comes from the Father of lights. Yes. But if you want to get more of that, you got to put something in the ground to get your blessing. And he says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. That means that your fruit that's on the vine, it ain't going to drop before the time. Mm. Yes, and then obviously, um, being that he said that about, and I will rebuke the devourer, uh, that means that before uh, you give your tithes or before you're operating in that system, that there is a devourer there in place that is taking, you know, the fruits of your labor. Yes. And, um, and what God is putting in place is his system of tithing and uh, sowing and reaping because um, uh, there's a... Uh, repercussion after the tithe is given because that's why he says about rebuking the devourer. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. And so and then he goes on, he says, and he got some more. Yes. And all nations shall call you, you blessed. blessed. For you shall be a delightsome land, saith the, the Lord, Lord of hosts. Of hosts. Amen. Amen. So we want to encourage you to give your tithes and offerings. Yes. Amen. We want to encourage you to give your tithes and offerings to the ministry. Now let's get back to the word that we were preaching on. 862-251-4472. Call us when the show is over. Call us throughout the day. 862-251-4472. Tell somebody about the ministry. Tell somebody about the number. 862-251-4472. 4472. Also later on this week, Lord's will, we may have a special guest. Amen. You amen. may know the person, you may not. Mm. Two individuals. Yes, amen. amen. We amen. may. Yeah. Lord's yes. will. Yes. We shall see. Amen. Yes. amen. Now, um, we read Isaiah 4, 54 and 16. Now I have uh excuse me, I have first Peter 5 and 8. Amen. Now I want to encourage you on your own personal time to start studying how Jesus praised the Lord. How, to, how he spent time with God. And yes, see, and see, when you uh, understand the laws of it, the, the laws of it says you spend time, it'll spend time with you. Yes. You spend time in quiet, mm -hmm. it'll, quiet will spend time with you. Uh, and the Bible says that he has a still, small voice. Boy. So that's why sometimes you'll hear uh, 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 about these revelations, even mm -hmm. with Paul, how he said, I didn't spend time with the apostles. I didn't spend time with any man. Save I, he said, I, I received the revelation from Jesus Christ. Yes. And yes. so with that being said, when he sees the revelation from Jesus Christ, Jesus studied the system. He, studied, he knew a way. That's why he went to solitary places. Yes, yes, amen. Because he needed some quiet time. Yes, we all need quiet time. Mm. Yes, when you have a lot of voices around you, you know, God is, is speaking to you. And God speaks to us constantly. You could just imagine if we talk, we can talk all day if we choose to. So um, God can talk so much more than anyone because he's the one that created all of us. And he wants to get his voice heard by his children. We have instructions that, that go forth from God. And if you're not um, in your solitary place and spend time alone with God and, and studying the word so that you can be built up in your spirit and you're just always surrounded by, by people and not listening, you know, mm -hmm. for the voice of the Lord, then you're not going to hear the instruction that he has for your life. And that's why it's crucial to spend quiet time alone with God and just to hear from him. And even when we pray, you know, it's not even a, a thing of us always just doing all of the talking. We're supposed to listen because God speaks to us in our prayer time as well as us speaking to him. It's a communication. Amen. 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 Communication. Yes. Amen. Amen. And um, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. And I'm um, saying just trying to get this thing. Let 
So we're in First Peter. First Peter five and eight. Five and eight. Okay. Now, um, the battle is the Lord's, and we were talking about your battle is a spiritual one, not a physical one. And when you're done with one battle, you better know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're going to get a little time to rest. And your weapons is prayer, faith. And the word. Yes. And when you get the prayer and the faith and the word, you're going to get a little time to rest. Even mm -hmm. Jesus, when he was tempted by, by the enemy, the Bible says that the enemy went away for a he went away for a season, a season and came back for another and, and mm -hmm. was getting and was and went to go come back for another opportune time. Mm. He went away for a season to come back for an opportune mm. time. So I want you to remember, men and women of God, that when you are in these battles, you're only in these battles and you only get rest after mm. that battle for you can get ready for the next one. Wow. And you know, um, I, well, I have well, a few things to say to that. Uh, because in, in in my book, uh, Domestic Violence Exposed, the demonic force behind it. Which you can go get at Amazon.com. Yes, ahead. yes. Oh, and right behind us too. Um, in the introduction, I say exactly that because we're in a spiritual battle, and and the it's the demonic force behind domestic mm -hmm. violence, uh, because we do have an enemy that's always at battle with us, and uh, when you don't know it, and you're involved in domestic violence, you would think that. You know, the physical battle is what it is. The argument that leads up to the blows is what it is, but it's not because there's a demonic force behind it. And this is a spiritual battle first. The result is physical violence, but it's always the force behind it. So um, when you kept saying that, that's what I kept thinking about is my introduction. And, um, you know, if, if we don't um, humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, you know, resist the enemy, then he's going to uh, constantly be there. But we have to always know that when, when we're resting, you know, the enemy is always plotting and planning. And he said that um, they even get together in a company so that they can plan together on how they're going to do their next attack on the child of God. So we have to always know that we have to be equipped and ready for the battle. Absolutely. 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 Uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Yes, okay. Uh, be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, mm. as a roaring lion, goes up, it, as a roaring lion, walketh about, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Mm. So the enemy is asking, may he interfere with your destiny. Mm. He's asking, uh, uh, is you going to, and even if you don't say anything, he's going to take it as a yes. <laughs> That's why you got to say something. Yes. Speaking See, when, 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 when you get them thoughts, or you know they ain't your thoughts, when you get them troubled thoughts, or depressing thoughts, or the crazy thoughts, or you hearing them voices, you 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 not maybe you need to get some quiet time. Or maybe you need to stop listening to so many people, mm -hmm. or maybe it might just be the opposite. You might need someone to pray over you. Right. It's a it's a you know a, a threefold code is not easily broken, but it's always it doesn't just mean people. That's also another form of there's also three ways of looking at something. Because mm -hmm. I may be talking to you, or you, mm -hmm. I may be talking uh, at myself, and and, and and yet I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. but God is still talking to both of us. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. just got down. <laughs> See, that's a threefold thing right, right. there. Yeah, and yeah, see, yeah. you you got a, a spirit, a soul, and a body. That's a threefold thing mm -hmm. right there. And even if you are sitting here and you saying, um, God, I feel like I'm alone. No, you ain't. Mm -hmm. You ain't alone. Not only is Jesus right here because he's the word, but also he said when he when he when he went up to the Father, the comforter is right here with you. Mm -hmm. So how many people mm -hmm. is that? That's, yeah, three. that's three. And then not only that, when we yeah. get to the testimony, they're not only giving you three testimonies, but watch this. Here's the three, another threefold chord. Not only is he giving you a testimony, and it may come from Peter. That's Peter's testimony of who? Jesus' yeah. testimony. Yeah. And now who else is getting a testimony? You get the testimony. Mm -hmm. So that's another threefold chord. Don't right. play with me on this thing. Yeah. We'll be here all day. Don't play with me on this thing. We'll be here. Ooh. But praise God. So it's always, it's not just always talking about a, 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 a threefold chord with just people. Right. But it's talking about a threefold chord and looking at the whole past, present, future. Mm. Go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. First Peter 5, maybe. the enemy is asking, may I 
mess with your destiny. And even if you don't do or don't say yes, he's still going to try it mm -hmm. anyway. Because mm -mm. if you're not saying anything at all, you're giving them permission. Yes, yes, yes. Because we're supposed to speak the word, you know, just like Jesus did. Uh, when he came to him, Jesus spoke the word back to him. Mm. And that's what we're supposed to do. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, amen. And now the scripture you was talking about just a second ago, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 and 5. Probably down with all of my notes. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. How can two okay. agree? They walk and talk together. Amen. 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 That means y'all there is some agreement going on. Yes. yes. Go ahead, woman of God. Yes. Casting down imaginations and every mm. high thing that exalted. Oh. Uh, no, no. Start at verse three, please. Okay. All right. Verse three is for though we walk in the flesh. For though we walk. Now, who else was walking a minute ago? <laughs> the devil walked. Okay. Yes. For though we walk, walk in, in the, the flesh, flesh uh -huh. we do not war after the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not a fleshly thing. Mm -hmm. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, mm -hmm. casting down imagination. Now hold on. It's not carnal. Meaning you ain't going to win this fight by your own in the strength. Natural. It's not in the natural enough. And you ain't going to win it by your own strength. Mm -hmm. No. Because mm -hmm. even if you try to do it by your own strength. You might you might be saying, I got this. How you gonna fight a spirit? You can't fight spiritual with with carnal and you can't uh you, it, it just it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. We are not strong enough to fight demons in the natural. No. Um this is a spiritual battle and um it has to only be in the spirit realm. Amen. That uh, says, um, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every thought. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. You might as well keep going. Yes. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. See, there's supposed to be a readiness inside of you. Mm -hmm. It's like a it's like a, a person that's in the military and they got their hand on the trigger. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be a readiness inside of you. I will shoot this thing at any time. Yes, yes. I will bust a cap. Yes. <laughs> I will bust a cap at any time. You gotta have a readiness inside of you. It says in having in. Where is it? Where is it at? In. Yes. Not 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 the day is in. Right mm -hmm. in. Not. Yes. In right, uh, men and women of God, in having yes. in a readiness. Where, where's the in at though? The in is right here. Amen. These are the thoughts. Yeah. This is the playing field. Yeah. And I, I remember a minister that I grew up with. He says, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling yes. down of strongholds. We used yes. to do that, pulling, pulling down, down. strongholds. Yes. Amen. And, and see, when you pull down a stronghold. You're making God, uh, the Bible says that he's a he's a strong tower. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And so therefore, the when righteous run into, into it and they're saved. saved. So, yes. so, you know, um, the enemy, a stronghold, when the enemy tries to put a stronghold on you, it's like a, it's like a, a, a nest. Mm -hmm. You need to get rid of that nest. Mm. Who saves? Yeah. <laughs> now, watch this. We're, gonna, we're still talking about your battle is a spiritual one. Not a physical one. Amen. The devil wants to steal your testimony, joy, mm -hmm. kill your salvation, faith, and influence. Anything to separate you from God. Mm -hmm. John chapter 18, 35. Jesus was saying, my kingdom is not of this world. He's also letting us know that God's yes. kingdom is in your heart. And we were also talking about how all things were created by him yes. and for him. Well, let's go to Genesis chapter 3. Amen. God bless you, Remicia. Yes. God, God bless, bless you, Nicole. Nicole. God bless you. Who's on Ustream? Do you know who's on Ustream? Everybody is scattered out. Scattered scattered abroad. I don't know. Probably can't tell. That's okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So, 
Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now, your mind is, is the enemy's playground where he'll try to come and do things on the, to the mind. Yes. That's why you got to have on the helmet of salvation. salvation. Now, Genesis chapter 3 and 1 says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, mm. knowing good and evil. And when the woman, now watch this, once the enemy gets your attention, he got, he got you. Mm -hmm. Once the enemy gets your attention, mm -hmm. he got you. Yes. So don't give him no focus mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. Amen. Kick Satan out in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. Yes. Don't give him a foothold. The Bible mm -mm. says don't give him a foothold. Mm -mm. And also, um, let's go to, uh, let's see here. 1 John 2 and 16. And hold that at Genesis chapter 3. Okay? Amen. And see, the enemy ain't going to come in a way with, like he did in the Garden of Eden. Mm -mm. He's going to come to you with a strong, even mm -hmm. for the women, he's going to come with a strong man, mm -hmm. tall, That's dark, right. and handsome. That's Why right. women always want somebody tall, dark, and handsome? That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. You don't want to see him in an alley. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine you going down in an alley. Tall, dark, and handsome. No, but you know, it's true. I mean, uh, the veil of flesh is what the enemy uses, you know, to deceive. Because you're looking at, um, that's why uh, we didn't, the next, I think it was in 1 Corinthians or uh, 2 Corinthians where we were, mm -hmm. when it said, um, uh, we look at the outward appearance, um. you know, but, and that's, that's why we're deceived so much too, is because, we look at people in the natural with these natural eyes mm -hmm. and uh you know when you even are entering into a relationship you know it's about going to god first yes. and asking god about this person that mm -hmm. has entered your life so that he can reveal to you you know whether to stop or whether to go because um the enemy will come in disguised and um that's with men and women because yeah, right. You know, we see even in Proverbs how, how he says to the to the young man, you know, don't go into that woman's, you know, house. Many men have been taken. He said many strong men have been taken down mm -hmm. by her. So it's, it's um, men and women that are, um, you know, deceived uh, by the enemy when you know, people enter. Second Corinthians, I'm going to go there real quick. You find uh, first John mm -hmm. three, six, three, no, 2 and 16. Okay, 2 Corinthians uh, 2 and 11 says, uh, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. That's right. We are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, watch this. So that means, basically, don't confuse your enemies. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Meaning, just because a person seems like uh, they're your enemy, they may be for you good. Hmm. But you got to look at the device. What do they have with them? What are they using? And not only that, let me let me look at this a little bit more because you know don't confuse your enemies because you need to know who you fight. Yes. And what you fight. Yes. Yes. That way you don't want to be saying uh, something come out and you don't know what it is. Hmm. Cause you be sitting there calling the wrong thing. Wow. And that's why Adam was uh first job was to name things. And see when he was naming things, he could call it out. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's why when Jesus oh let me go on. First second first Corinthians uh first John <laughs> chapter two verse sixteen. Sixteen. For all that is in the world, the Call lots Mm -hmm. the, all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. And the lust of the eyes. And the lust of the eyes. And the pride of life mm -hmm. is not of the Father, but, it but is, is of the world. Now, 
Let's watch this. First one was the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. The second was the lust of the eyes, and the third one was the pride of life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Now watch this. Okay. Watch yes. this. Watch this. When the serpent came to Eve in the garden. Mm-hmm. Verse six says, "And when the woman saw the tree." Mm-hmm. Saw that, excuse me, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant mm-hmm. to, to the, the eyes. eyes. The lust of the eyes. Yes. A lust of the eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. Uh, yes. You know, she saw the tree that it was good for food. Mm-hmm. The lust of the eyes. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired of to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat. Now, when she did this, it was not only the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, because she wanted to be wise. Mm -hmm. And then the pride of life came because she was hearing what the what what uh, uh what uh, the serpent was saying unto her. He says, "For God doeth know that in the days ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing mm-hmm. good and mm-hmm. evil." So not only did the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, because she said, "This is gonna make me wise right. in life." And not only that, it looked good, mm-hmm. and 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 not only that, it it it, it, it tastes good, mm-hmm. and and I and I just I just just want to look at it. Yeah. That's what she was doing. Right. And so the, that's how the enemy works. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. He tried, he tried to do the same thing with Jesus. With Jesus. The pride of yes, life. Yes, yes, he did. And so we want to continue to say that your battle was a spiritual one, not a physical one. Mm-hmm. When, he, when, he, when the pride of life tried to come on Jesus, that was one of the, I think it was the last temptation. That, uh, he did. He tried him three times. Mm-hmm. Three yes. times again. Yes. yes, he did. And uh, the last temptation, I believe he was telling him, he, he said that uh, he said, I, all these glories of the world, mm. if you just bow mm. down and worship me, I'll give you Ooh. all these riches. And it wasn't The pride his. of life. Yes. Yes. And, and it was not his. Mm-hmm. It didn't even belong to him. Mm-mm. You know? Wow. So, um, many women of God, we want to thank you and use your weapons, prayer, faith, and the word, prayer, yes. faith, and the word, and you can't Amen. go wrong, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, that's one of the things that I, I always say about Daniel that I admire is that he was a praying man. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Wow. So, how was everyone's day today? Amen. Nicole, how was it in Canada today? <laughs> Ain't no snow there still. I know that, right? <laughs> Wow. All the snow should be melting. <laughs> Is all the snow melted in Canada by now? Or no? Wow. It would be amazing if it wasn't. It would be good. No <laughs> snow, but it is supposed to freeze tonight. What? Wow. <sighs> Ooh. Yes, yes. Ooh. Further north, there is still snow. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe grandma, you see, I said like grandma's cigar. <laughs> warm up. Jeez. I told you I like warm weather. Amen. Well, me too. <laughs> Amen. I like hot weather. Wow. It looks pretty though in the pictures. The um, uh, Canada. I had no idea that it was that much snow though. Wow. <laughs> Amen. 
Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you for your word tonight, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you for everybody. Yes, thank you, Lord. For everybody that was here yes, and that is here tonight with us, Lord. We just thank you yes, Lord. for everything you're doing, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, wash us in the blood of Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord, yes, and make us whole. Yes, Lord. Baptize us, Lord, yes, in the precious yes, blood Lord. of Jesus, Lord. Touch our minds, Lord, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the gift of prophecy, Lord. Thank you for the spirit of prophecy being here with us. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. For the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So thank God for that. Amen. That's what the book of Revelation says. Amen. So Father God, we just want to thank you. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, just touch that my anointed yes. and do, do my prophets no, no harm. harm. We thank you, Lord. Yes. Jesus, Lord. for your words. Jesus, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Well, um, we do have a do have some things coming up soon and playing for the men and women of God. Um, hmm. Prophet Donnie, you want to tell the men and women of God about your book? I'm sure there's some people that's on tonight that has not heard about hmm. your books. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'll start with the first one. The first one is The Blood and Tears of Domestic Violence, A Survivor's Revelation. And uh, this is the testimony of my life from uh, being a former victim of domestic violence for almost 20 years. And now I'm a strong advocate in the Lord and I move forward, you know, for deliverance uh, in the area of domestic violence and healing to um, those that are still entangled as well as the survivors that uh, always need um, to know that you can survive domestic violence, be okay, and uh, not live in fear and not go into another abusive relationship. Um, this, this particular book, um, it took me over 10 years to write it um, because I didn't have an ending to it. And uh, the ending came to my door in 2006 and um, it was a tragedy here in the state of New Jersey. It was a triple murder suicide. And that is what uh, thrust me into advocacy because uh, I'm just blessed to be alive and knowing that that young lady uh, is not here. Her mother uh, was killed brutally as well as the abuser um, wound up jumping off of a bridge and killing himself after he brutally murdered uh, his wife and her mother. And um, I just know that as I see the domestic violence cases going on every day, uh, there's so many people that are losing their lives. And this is a spiritual battle for souls. And I know that God has empowered me uh, for this ministry. And I know that he is expanding it and he's going to to move it forward. Um, he's birthed it in me. And, and I'll tell you, even tonight, uh, we touched on how the Holy Spirit, you know, teaches you uh, things. And for the, I would say the last uh, few years um, that I've been actively involved as an advocate, uh, I spent a lot of time alone with the Lord. And uh, he has just instilled in me and poured his word into me uh, to be who I am today as his, um, as his advocate moving forward in this mission. And uh, in the back of, of this book, I have included um, a lot of information that I didn't have when I was going through uh, that I know is very useful, uh, such as a safety plan, which is uh, really crucial for uh, an, a victim to know you have to get your, your items uh, together in order in a safe place so that when you do leave, you don't have to go back uh, because so many times uh, victims are killed when they go back to get um, items. Uh, right here in New Jersey, not too far from where I live, uh, there was a, a lady that got killed uh, brutally by her abusive husband. 
as she went back to get um, her things and thinking that he wasn't there. So domestic violence is something that uh, is hard, is horrendous. And, and um, it's, it's something that has to be stopped. And we as the body of Christ have the power to stop it because the Holy Spirit resides within us and uh, we are empowered to cast out demons. And I know that abusers need deliverance. And uh, we have so many services that's just going to be coming forward from this ministry um, and so many blessings that is going to happen as a result, uh, not only in our lives, because it's a blessing when when I see someone set free in, in, in Christ. But uh, it's going to be so many men and women's lives that's going to be saved uh, through this ministry. Mm -hmm. And um, then the, the next book is Domestic Violence Exposed, the demonic force behind it. Uh, which is out. Um, it was just published last month. This book is very, very crucial to get into the churches, and I'm going to keep forging forth, you know, to uh, speak uh, this weekend. As a matter of fact, I'll be at a church here in New Jersey um, because they want to uh, step forward and, and partner uh, with this ministry on domestic violence. And, and just speaking to um, that man of God and, and hearing his conversation and his concern about the, the lives that are being lost to domestic violence. And as he saw the work that I was doing, he said he had to reach out to me because he said it's on his heart as well uh, to move forward and to save lives because we have the power in the body of Christ to do it. And it's time to move forward in this ministry uh, globally you know, as the body of Christ as a whole to do it. So uh, those are the two books. And then we have The Prophet's Perspective, which is Prophet Terry's book. Mm -hmm. And um, Hold on. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Go ahead. Go. And, uh, you know, I've read this book from cover to cover, and it's an excellent, excellent uh, she book. She <laughs> but uh, I was just amazed at the stuff that uh, Prophet... Roger just poured into this book as well as his testimony on how the prophet became a prophet, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because uh, so many times and then even the, the next book, um, which is my child. Oh, I'm not telling the title. Oh, I thought you told it already. No, I'm not telling it. Okay. But that one is going to, to be very powerful and just compliment this one because as he shares on how, you know, his life was growing up and he was, he's always been unique. Um, <laughs> there's, there, there are those that have unique children and, and, you know, you don't realize that, you know, your child may be a prophet as well. Um, but people, we have to be careful because we have an enemy. And as we heard in the message tonight about how, you know, we go through one battle and then it's, it's another battle right after. We don't know whether that battle is for our children because the enemy is here to kill, steal, and destroy souls. It doesn't matter how old the soul is. He wants souls. And um, we have to always know that our children are precious and our children have to be protected and guarded by us as parents, you know, uh, knowing that the enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, so these are the books that are... Amen. Are, are available on www.glorytoglory.ws as well as on amazon.com. Amen. And um, we're going to start doing um, more for the men and women of God that have been a part of this ministry. Um, we want to, we want to, we want to get some of the books to those that haven't gotten their copy. And mm -hmm. just to show you our token of, of, uh, love and we also want to send something to those that already got their copy we want to send something to you as well um because we just want to show you a token of gratitude a token of love and uh, just to say thank you for everything yes. you've done everything Amen. you're doing and uh we haven't forgotten about um the cds or the dvds and stuff that we were saying we were going to do um it's still in the work still in the process and, yeah, um, right. you know, we need uh, a lot of stuff still, but we do have some good news um, as far as uh, special guests and things that we're going to be working on. Yes. Um, you know, um, everything takes time. time. It takes time. And uh, yes, we know, you know, prophets always want to do things overnight. I'm going to keep it real. 
Some probably they because they see it. When you mm -hmm. already see it, mm -hmm. you already mm -hmm. say you're there. Mm -hmm. And so when you say you're there, people be like, "Wow, you gonna do that already?" Mm -hmm. But you know, you're prophetically seeing that thing. Right. right. But it still takes time. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, that's one of the things that you know, you know, that's just that's what makes great leaders. Yes. People able to endure mm -hmm. when the time comes. Yes. You know. Jesus knew what his time was. You know, it took him a while to get to that time. Yes, yes. You know, he, he developed friendships, relationships. Yes. He developed, you know, mm. bonds with people. And it took that time. Mm -hmm. I feel normal how I got on this. But when it when that time came, it wasn't easy even. No, no. He even in going in the cross. Mm. It oh. wasn't easy. We can't even imagine. You know, and then even coming back and still yeah. having to show people that what you said was still true even after you told them. Yes. You know, that's a lot. Yes, it that's is. That's a lot. That'll make me cry. I mean, because, mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus had to weep. He would mm -hmm. weep over yes. cities. Yes. He would weep over cities, not just over people. He mm -hmm. would just sit there, and, you know, and be sorrowful because, you know, he just couldn't understand how mm -hmm. they didn't get it. Right. You know, right. some people, it'll take time. Some people will never get it. Mm. And some people you can't rush to get it. Right, right. But right. thank God Amen. we all get it. Yes. Amen. Yes. So Amen. it just takes time Amen. and um you know, thank God, you know, the time is on our side. Yeah. The believers. Yes. That's what Jesus said. That's what yes. God said. Amen. 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 So Amen. We just want to thank everybody for being here tonight. And um yes. It takes time. It takes time. Yes, um, it does. Well, prophet is done. Yes. <laughs> we are. Uh, um, we are uh, also uh, need to talk to a lot of men and women of God still on the phone. Um, so we're not going to keep everybody up too late because we want to talk to um, Gail Robinson, mm. everybody. If everybody can call, we yeah. want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. let's do something different than that. We want to talk to everybody over the phone. So if you can call us, we're not even going to get on talk to. We're going to get off talk to you, stream, live stream. And we want to talk to everybody one-on-one -on -one over the phone it's not going to be long we're going to do at least five minutes uh per but we want to talk to amen praise god rosalind is here tonight yes, god bless you rosalind's mercy amen amen so um um so we want to do that and uh Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. I know I had a long day today. It was something else. It was the most exercise <laughs> I've did in a long time. <laughs> but uh, we still want to prophesy the word of the Lord to the men and women of God. So if you want to call the number, we're going to go ahead and get up off of here. 862-251-4472. Um, I'm sure um, prophet is done. She has a lot more that she can actually share with y'all. So, especially about mm. domestic violence Ooh, and everything that's wow. going on wow. with her. Wow. So, we're going to let Prophet Donna have it. Wow. Well, one thing I do want to share and, and, and even ask because, um, well, we have a couple of campaigns that's going on on uh, Facebook and we have the, the $1 Stops the Violence campaign. Uh, going, but um, one thing that uh, I just uh, developed was um, I'm asking for 50 strong, real men of God to uh, to step up to the plate okay. and to <laughs> to step Praise up God. to the plate and to, uh, to to be a part of domestic violence advocacy because we need the men to step up and. I know as women of God, and it's, it's more women 
uh, even a lot of churches, um, I mean, let's just be for real. It's, it's, in some churches, there's much more women in the church than it is men. But it's time to get men not only to to come to church because I mean I mean I know that that's been probably a struggle for a long time, but um, but to be a part of domestic violence advocacy because um, we know that domestic violence is not a women's only issue and uh, we're lacking in we're lacking in the uh, we're lacking in the uh, excuse me on that. But we're, we're lacking in the, the male area of domestic violence. Just yeah, lost the light, more, sorry. <laughs> uh, so um, 50 Strong Men is what I'm asking on Facebook. And I put the post out yesterday. I still have to check my email to see whether anybody responded. But what I wanted to say to the women is, if you know a real strong man of God, then uh, tune him into the ministry. I'm asking them on there to inbox me or email me or to call the ministry here um, so that they can take a stand with us because now it's time to move forward in the fight, you know, for um, domestic violence advocacy. And we need the men on the Real Man Campaign team. And we need to establish the abuser hotline so that when abusers call in, uh, they can get a real man of God on the line for deliverance and uh, so far within the last couple of weeks I mean I've had calls coming in for uh, abusers that need help that need deliverance that's looking to change their lives and, and we have to really really establish um, you know not just the hotline but we have to have the men in place in order to do it and if I if there's any ideas or thoughts or whatever you know, uh, please share them with me because I'm looking for um, all help and all ideas and especially the men to step up to the plate finally, you know, to be a part of, of the domestic violence advocacy with me. So, um, and not just with me, with our ministry, you know, with this team that, that we're building. I mean, because it's, it's just past time. I mean, we need to uh, really look at domestic violence in, in a whole new light. And I know that the services that are out there, um, you know, I always say keep them in place, but we need the additional services for the abusers because it's like um, a lot of people, and I'm talking about in, in the natural, even when I took my training, I mean, they don't, they just don't get it. Um, and it's some of them will say, when I'm talking, when I'm speaking about it, they'll say, oh, oh yeah, but how do you know? But how, how, how do you not know? what God is going to do. And then I always say God is able to change any heart. He's able to take an abuser and to change them into a non-abuser. And that is a testimony that's going to go forward. That's someone that's going to be able to pull someone else out and save lives. I mean, I, I just know that it, it must be horrible to, uh, to continue to have neighbor after neighbor or to have family members being lost to uh, domestic violence when we have the power in the body of Christ to make the change, make the difference. So um, we have a responsibility even as women. You know, God said in, in Jeremiah, and I always quote that scripture, a, a woman, you know, is going to woo, win, and protect a man. And we are able to bring men into this, this great movement of God for deliverance. So... Sisters, let's join together, get these men, and get them on the team so that we can actually uh, not only have the hotline, because the hotline is established. We have it already, SOS Abuser, 888-SOS Abuser, but now it's about having the male advocates on the team uh, to, to establish it. And then another um, announcement that um, I had was um, actually the state of New Jersey uh, wants to partner with this ministry because, um, cause, okay, uh, <clears throat> okay, okay, uh, the state of New Jersey wants to partner with the ministry because um, right here in Morris County, New Jersey is the only um, batterers, and that's what they call it still, batterers program, and that is actually ordered by the court. So uh, what she was saying to me is that all across even this state, the abusers have to now travel to a specific county where you know that they don't even want to go anyway because it's ordered by the court and that's in lieu of jail time. So uh, what she was saying to me was 
she's um she read all about um she read my first book actually and she read about the abuser services that um that is being established she knows my vision um and she said um that she would love for the ministry to partner with the state of new jersey so that'll be a blessing that would be a blessing for for that to happen because not only will that help out new jersey that is going to ping pong and i can see it in every state going because now they're going to know that there's ministries that's there uh, specifically and different than than the average uh victim services so so i'm just really 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 um you know just you just don't know i'm just so eager to get that going you know because my vision that i see is just abusers that are that's just before the lord that that's repenting and and, and it's able to be done it's able to be done um and then uh, with the one dollar stops the violence campaign we ask everyone and, and thank you so much for all that have changed their their facebook um you know pictures to that particular uh, uh picture because that's powerful in and of itself and we ask that that everyone even if you give a dollar you know then that is something that dollar may save someone's life because that dollar is going to go for the programs to be established for you know saving a child from being abused further or, or saving a woman you know who may not have anywhere else to go and we're able to now get her into services so so it's, it's going a long way and uh we just look for everyone to donate a dollar and we're going to really push that campaign um, and that's one thing that prophet uh terry was doing today was out there you know just giving out flyers and cards and stuff to get this word out because it's crucial you know i mean we can't continue to just be divided on domestic violence advocacy and i just know that even in the state of new jersey we have different services but everyone does different things wherein the common the common ground is that there is an abuser that needs help and if we don't get help to that abuser then it's a chance that we're going to lose lives. So I just always push and push and push with this um, advocacy. And I know I see the vision and um, I'm just thankful, you know, to be here to do this great work because I just know that it's a blessing. It's a blessing for me to be in the land of the living when I know that there was times that uh, <laughs> I just saw, you know, even vision my own funeral. And actually today I was on someone's page. Uh, they lost their daughter to domestic violence and they were showing her, her husband uh, was a police uh, chief and they were showing um, the, the police officers bringing her casket out and she had a white casket and it was white flowers on it. And it just made me remember, you know, um, that was the vision that that I had, you know, back when I was uh, 18, 19, and 20, and still entangled in it, and, and I had visions of, of my funeral like that, and I looked at it, and I just was like, wow, but yet this particular family, they have to now grieve over their daughter, and um, I just say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that I'm here, and that um, I wasn't one of the statistics, and, and that's why the drive that's in me is just going to continue. And I, I need your, your prayers, you know, because um, what I'm actually doing and what the Lord has empowered me to do is, is snatching, you know, the abusers out of the grip of Satan and bringing him or her into the kingdom of light. And so that is a battle for a soul or souls rather. So you can just imagine how the, the spiritual battles that keep coming against me is. And I always ask for the men and women of God to pray and pray for me um, because this is a battle for souls. And um, I'm just so thankful to be here, you know, to do it. So uh, we, um, we thank you uh, so much for tonight. And we want everyone, um, let me see, uh, Gail, I know that um, you were one to, to call in, but whoever, um, you know, can call in, please call us, um, you know, because we're getting ready to, um actually uh take phone calls um and stuff and pray and prophesy and to share more of the ministry with you as you call in so we say thank you <laughs> we say thank you so much and um 
all that was on tonight. Thank you, and God bless you abundantly. And we want to talk to you on the phone. So give us a call, 862-251-4472. And then that's www.1dollarstopstheviolence.com is the website. And please share that with everyone. And then, of course, www.glorytoglory.ws is the website uh, for you to get all of the products. I mean, the anointing oil, the books, everything is available on that site, too. And then tell someone about the ministry as well, because we need um, to get this ministry and the show filled so that men and women can continue to be blessed by the word of the Lord as he pushes forward this ministry. So thank you so much. And uh, Prophet Terry, I don't know whether you're going to. Yes, 862-251-4472. Uh, Let me just type it in here. So please call in. There we go. And that's it. Sorry, let me just get this. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to uh, now be taking phone calls. So thank you so much. And there's the first one. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Prophetess Donna Savage. Praise the Lord, Prophetess Donna Savage. Hello? That one hung up. Okay. 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 Um, I don't know who that was, but... At any rate, <laughs> and thank God. you, thank you so much to uh, Nicole Brown. Thank you so much. You are a blessing. <laughs> Praise the Lord! I tripped and fell over the cord. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Carrie Wilson. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Awesome. I Praise am awesome. I ain't said awesome in a long time. Somebody else say awesome. I'm awesome. Awesome. Hey, Amen. You say all of them. I'm not trying to play you. You don't feel like somebody be trying to play you. Hey, Amen. I am awesome. Hey, Amen. Hey. What's so funny, Carrie? All right, Carrie trying to play you too. I am awesome. Awesome. All right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, this is the part where I love. I know we're gonna log off. We ain't logged off yet. Hallelujah, son. So how was your day today, Carrie Wilson? It was pretty good. Amen. It, it was good because um, I was able to get back home and everything, you know, around twelve between. 12 o'clock okay. this morning and 2 and then I went to bed had a pleasant dream to sort of put things in order it all fell under the umbrella of what you were teaching tonight oh, wow. wow mm-hmm. amen yeah. Yeah. on how to um, you know you have to Tell you what I hear God saying. God said He's going to bring your past, 
the thing that he did that he was going to do in your past is you're ready to come into your future. I see God doing some moving right now. I see God doing some moving. I see you doing, um, it looks like uh, um, something with some form of communication shall come up for you. Some form of communication shall break forth for you. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a uh, telephone or, uh, or uh, internet or what, but some form of communication is getting ready to come up. And it's going to come up where you're going to be having this type of uh, communication on a on a more regular basis. Or should I say, not just on a more regular basis, this is going to be some communication that's going to, uh, uh, it's going to be more than once. I'll say that. Also, um, I don't know why, but I see a lot of, I see a lot of colors, a lot of colors, uh, 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 um, this is weird, I, I see, you know, Rabashin, Dabake, Rabasha, Holy Spirit help me, yes, Lord. hallelujah, you know, Rabashin, Dabake, Rabasha, yes, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak a hedge of protection around you right now. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Declare this with me, Carrie Wilson. Say, whatsoever I touch, whatsoever I touch shall prosper. Shall prosper. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. God's glory is going to fill the place glory. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And I see you doing some things um, where some writing is coming up, writing. Um, there's some visit or some type of appointment that's getting ready to come too. Yeah. Some type of visit or appointment. I see some planning coming up, some planning. Uh, yeah, the plan, the plan. Uh, the, the, uh, you're gonna, be, you, you're gonna have favor with uh, wherever you're going. Favor. Uh, yeah. Just have your communication be plain at this time. Make sure you keep it plain and simple. And if you have to, make sure that the person gets whomever it is you're talking to. Make sure they understand you. Okay. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. Oh, um, what type of moves is it? Uh, it seemed like it was some travel. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're going to have favor with them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. And I, and I spoke ahead of protection because it seemed like something looked like uh, uh, sirens or something. And it didn't, it wasn't with you, but I need you to pray for your loved ones. Okay. Mm, pray for your loved ones. Okay. All is well, though. You already spoke the word. I just wanted to tell you, you know, I don't want you to be sitting there uh, wondering what it was, but that's what I, that's why I didn't, couldn't quite figure it out. It was just like lights and colors and everything, but mm -hmm. all is well. Everything you touch shall prosper in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God's going to do something great in your life. He's going to refresh a thing concerning your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. I, I don't know why I see a Sunday. I see a Sunday. It's like, because you probably always eat ice cream. That's probably why I see a Sunday. But I also see something where God's going to bless the pocketbook. He's going to bless the purse. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Um, you told me about uh, a social thing. It was a personal thing that you and I discussed. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's coming up on Friday. Oh, wow. And I'm just, I'm, I was debating 
on, you know, because um, I would have to go out of town. I, I, I need to um, fly there. And um, I'm kind of afraid, you know, because I don't know how I would be. Mm. Well, I, I know that favor, favor is yours on this trip. Favor is yours on this trip. You're going to have a great time, actually. <laughs> and if you want to mail anything to the P.O. Box 709, like a, a, a magnet or something, some type, of, some type of refrigerator magnet while you're out here on your trip. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. That was a joke. I was joking. Well, you're going to have a, you're gonna have a great time, though. You're going to have a great time. Okay, so I can go ahead and do this. Yes, you're going to have a great time. Okay, because I didn't want to step out and do something blind today. Okay. Yes, because it will be, you know, like, going that day and I'm going to have to come right back because i got to go um, to Arizona to school next month. Okay. So, um, yeah. But I, I need to do that because some healing needs to take place. Amen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. Amen. It's going to be very favorable. Um, very favorable. Uh, praise you, Jesus. That was sound about right. Praise mm-hmm. God. Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, um, hmm. This is what I want to do for everybody. Um, those that that are willing. Um, those that want to receive. You know, I had actually, uh, I had prophesied the word of the Lord to a woman of God. Uh, I think it was like four months in advance, and she received a prophecy four months in advance in the month of March no was it eight one of them March came yeah March came and prophesied from January February March and then all the way to April and when March came I had told the woman of God I said when March comes get ready for uh, uh, for one of your employees is going to go it was a warning and so sure enough, March came, and one of her employees just got up and left. And I told the woman of God, I said, well, you should not be astonished or amazed because you had the warning before it took place. And God had also told me before, even the person had left, I said, there's something that you need to start doing for your employees to make them feel uh, uh, not just, just uh, not at home, but to make them feel, you know, uh, needed, to make them feel special. So I don't know if she ever did it, but I do know that one of the employees, uh, the woman of God came back and told me, said the employee has left the building. And so I want to encourage many women of God tonight, those that want to do uh, something more than, I say, $50 tonight. I want to do a four-month prophecy for you and have that for you tomorrow, I would say, before the next show. Amen. And uh, even if you do the favor seed of 52 tonight, I would do that for you. Um, it's, it would be just like a, 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 a brief prophetic word for the next four months is getting ready to take place. But I also get ready to post some things that uh, God has showed me concerning all the way up to July. Uh, that's going to be taking place. So I want to post that up also. And I want to, um, many women of God, uh, we need your, 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 you, you know, the best way to get the word out about the ministry is word of mouth. You know, we can get on the internet and, 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 and do all type of advertising. I got We got advertising going on now. And the people, you know, but the only way that's really gonna get out is through many women of God that know they've been blessed, saying, you know what? 
go to www.glorygloryws and get ready yeah. for a blessing. You know, and that's really how it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to it's what Jesus said. That's Jesus right. said, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel yes, and amen. spread the good news of amen. the gospel." Amen. All right. Well, Carrie, was I'm not going to keep you on the phone, but um, um, definitely. Anybody that want to receive a prophecy over the phone right now, 862-251-4472. But also, uh, the classes, the courses, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and start on 28th and the 29th. 28th and the 29th. And uh, if you want to if you want to sign up for the class on the 28th and 29th, I will be sending you an email in two days. Cool. To confirm that you'll be able to be there on the 28th and 29th, and then once you, you confirm it, I'm going to let's see. Once you confirm it, I don't want to do it for free because a lot of people don't honor anything for free. So I might just ask for a $15 donation. No, 14. A $14 donation. Cool. You know, uh, for that, and I will teach the many women of God. Uh, a lot of things concerning prophecy. A lot of things concerning prophecy. And uh, that's a, it's really all the information you're going to receive for $14, you can't beat it. No. I know Prophet Don is like, 14 Why? You blessed the many women of God. Because you know what? Um, it's going to change other people's lives. What you're learning is going to change other people's lives. It's going to help your life. Yes. And not only that, you're going to be able to bless somebody else. So also, but I want to encourage you, um, if you want to do more than 14, go ahead. But, uh, you know, for what you're going to receive, is going to be life changing and it's going to change your life from, oh, it's going to change your life. But uh, like I said, many women of God, we need you to just go ahead and continue to spread the word. Yes. Tell somebody about the ministry. Tell them to call us. Tell, mm -hmm. tell a minister. Yes. Tell them to tell a pastor. Yes. Tell an apostle. We will come to their church. We will drive to their churches. Yes. Amen. Amen. We will drive to their Amen. churches. Yes. And yes. we will go there and we will minister. If they will set up a, 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 a certain time, a day, we will come to their ministry and we will minister the word of the Lord. Yes. And we will drive. And a lot of people will say, you know what, get us a ticket. No, we will drive. We will come out there. Amen. We may need a day of rest or something. <laughs> But we would drive out there. Amen. It depends on where it's at. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So I uh, just want to run that by y'all real quick. And a lot of people coming on and, and going off on the uh, talk to you. Praise God. Well, Carrie Wilson, we're going to uh, uh, talk to you, I guess, in a later a later time. And I thank God that you always do call because we always look forward to hearing from you. Yes. And uh, Okay. I uh I definitely look forward to uh, praying and prophesying the word of the Lord and hearing some good testimonies. Okay. Amen. All right, sir. Yes, God bless, God bless you. you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God. Okay, well we're gonna get off as we said. Oh, I left the phone on. We're gonna get off as we said. God bless each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, how are you? Great, great. Hold on one second. We're gonna get off of you off a live stream and off a talk shoot. Yes. Eight six two two five one four four seven two. Call us. We'll be waiting on you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, have a wonderful night. God, yes. thank you for blessing your people. Thank, thank you for you, Lord. everybody tuning in and being here tonight. Yes. Thank you for Prophet Donna. Thank you for every person. Lord, I mean everyone, God. Bless them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover them in the blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great night. 862-251-4472.